I'm Neil. I'm Vic. And we're both from the Kane County Health Department. This is Vic. And this is Neil. We're from the we're Kane from County the Health, Health Department. Department. We'll see, see you at the at next the festival. festival. It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hi, right, so tonight it's bougie breakfast for dinner. Breakfast burritos? Wraps? Breakfast wraps? Let's say burritos maybe. Either how, either how, either way. They are seeming pretty crack, I would say. If you take a nice interior inspection. A random toss together just looked in my fridge and I saw components and I said... Sounds like a good idea. So, uncharacteristic of me, but we got Aunt Jemima on deck. And we're gonna do a sweet and savory bougie breakfast burrito bite for y'all. Coming off that McGriddle type tip, you know? Let's get it. Didn't expect that. That goes dummy. <laughs> oh man. When the random experiments surprise you. Those are the best ones. I love when that happens. I was never really a fan of McGriddles myself, but Syrup and the sausage does work. I was uh, unsure how the uh, the fried pickled onions would come out, but they lost all their vinegariness, so we're just sweet now. Hot sauce. Mmm. -hmm. Oh yeah. Hot sauce is what's up. More of that. Mm. 
the double meat combo too. Definitely popping. Try a little salsa. Just want to give a shout out to y'all who have been commenting and whatnot still. I've just been uploading a lot and like I got stuff going on. It's just hard for me to get to a lot of comments. I can do a lot of uh, responding, but this is me say a general response saying like, thank you. I see most of them. And in light of that, I'm going to try a honey or sorry, a maple hot bite, but also I think I'm going to do a uh, like a chips and dip. Reading your comments off of one of my videos and particularly in mind what I have is the uh, I might read off the comments from the uh, guys in, or women and men being friends. It got a good amount of engagement. And I think there's some pretty good things in there that could be responded to, which could be interesting. It's very hard to say which is the best, but uh, I'd say the sauce is the least enjoyable. This is good, but I think maybe the hot sauce is just taking the taking the dub right now. I feel as if last night I went on a huge YouTube tangent of looking up all the ins and outs of uh, like concessions trailers for, for vending food. Looking at all the different styles of the trailers and everything and actually watching content from people who run businesses like that. They have channels dedicated to like informing other people of what it is that you need. To be successful and to meet certain criteria and guidelines and stuff, but I just so want that to be my life. Like, I feel like I have all the cooking abilities required and the knowledge of like margins and inventory and, and products and stuff. Just need permits, licensing, and uh, the gear, really. While I was digging, I found my like my dream, my dream trailer scenario. The most perfect layout, everything. It was just exactly what I had in my head same color everything and uh, I think it's something like almost fifty thousand dollars like shit <laughs> but that's a brand new build a brand new outfit 
but they, they come out of America. So unfortunately you can't really get them. Can't get, well, I didn't look in Canada, but this one specifically was from America. on the funniest clip of the uh, these guys that have like this is their career right the health and safety guys that come out to the festivals to inspect and there's like a super cheesy um, video from somewhere I can't remember where it was but I'll clip it in the beginning of this video had me dying it was just so corny and uh, I know they're just trying to keep things safe and like do their job, but it's like they tried to synchronize their ending, being like, we'll see you at the next festival or whatever. And it's so awkward. And in my head, I'm like, Probably nobody wants you at the next festival because people just want to come and not be like scrutinized and penalized by these two just like strange men. And then that further led me to believe like some people in the world must be actual non-player characters because imagine devoting your entire life, like your career, and being like enthused about going out to festivals to like bust people for not having the proper nozzle on like their hand washing station or whatever. <laughs> like it's just like, how boring are you as a human being? That that's like what you're into. <laughs> you know? Like, at what point in your life were you like, you know what, I'm going to be a, f <laughs> a food health inspector at state fairs. That's my calling. <laughs> Just an interesting career choice. <laughs> in the sense that it's not interesting at all. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed Vic and Neil. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.